How to make Ugandan chicken stew pure boil? How to make Ugandan chicken stew pure boil? For the new viewers, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel for the daily recipe update. Remember, we are using local chicken. We are using local chicken. You have to use a local chicken. So we are going to get our stove. We put our banana peelings. Then we are going to first smoke the chicken until golden brown. Remember, you can follow the same procedure if you are also doing a Ugandan way of doing uh, beef stew or goat's meat stew. So you first roast it or smoke it. The reason why you are smoking, we are looking for that different flavor and taste. Then after, you are going to chop into different pieces. We are going to chop into family pieces. After chopping, we are going to apply the pieces in the saucepan. Then after, we are going for the best part of the show. Oh, we are going to another level. After, we are going to slice our onions. We are going to apply two onions. But you are going to use ready onions. You are going to apply two onions. We are doing Ugandan way of cooking uh, chicken stew. But you can also follow the same procedure when you are doing beef or goat's meat. So we are going to apply tomatoes. For the tomatoes, you are going to apply free tomatoes. Then after putting the tomatoes, we are going to apply salt. After putting tomatoes, you are going to apply salt. Then after applying salt, you are going to apply some grated garlic. But you can skip it if you don't love it. You are going to also apply some grated ginger. You can also skip it if you don't like it. Then you are going to slice some, uh, some spring onions. So after slicing, you are going to apply them. Then you are going to apply cold water. Make sure that the whole chicken is covered. Then after covering it, we are going to get our banana leaf. Or you can use any saucepan cover. Then you are going to boil for 20 to 30 minutes. Or you boil until you see the tomatoes have mashed. Remember, for the new viewers, I'm going to request you. Please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. So that you can get daily recipe update. Today, I'm showing you of how to do a Ugandan chicken stew. Pure boil, no oil needed, but it is going to be it's going to be amazing because it is yummy and delicious. Then we are going to slice or we are going to slice carrots into diamond. After slicing, we are going to chop some green pepper into chops, into different chops. Then we are going to media medium miss the fresh coriander. Then after we are going to apply the carrot and green pepper in our chicken stew. Then you are going to boil for some minutes. Then you are going to apply some reiko. You can use any spice of your choice, however, which country, part of the country you are in. So you apply some reiko for, for color and taste. Then you apply turmeric for also color. But you can mix the turmeric and reiko in water, then you apply it here. Then after, you are going to apply some more salt. If it is not enough, so that means you first test the season. If you also have white pepper, you can also put white pepper. Then we are going to put some fresh coriander next here. After putting fresh coriander, we are going to put some tomato paste just to thicken our what? To thicken our stew. But if you don't love it, skip it. So put the tomato paste, in the, in, the, in the bowl, put some water, then you, you mash it. After mashing it, apply it in the what? In the stew. Then we are going to boil for more like 5, 5, 10, 15 minutes. Then it is good to go. Remember, for the new viewers, I'm going to request you, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. When you're cooking this Ugandan way of doing the chicken stew, make sure that you use the local chicken. We are looking for the hard chicken. You can use the, a turkey. You can use a duck when you, are, you, when, you are, when you want to do this method. That means you can follow the same procedure if you are doing duck stew or turkey stew, even chicken stew or goat's meat stew, uh, even beef stew. Trust me, you are going to love this, this, this dish because it is natural, it is pure boil, and it is health. Remember, this is Chef Joshua Mosis If you want to talk to me, don't forget to subscribe me or don't forget to WhatsApp me on that number you see above. And for the new viewers, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. See you next time. I